Hello everyone, welcome to the walk around video of the Citroen Basalt, the fifth and the latest product by Citroen in India and interestingly the only one up until now to not have an alphanumeric name, it's just Basalt. Now we have driven this vehicle but I cannot give you my opinions on it just yet, that will come out on 9th of August so make sure that you are subscribed to our channel for that but for now I will tell you what all is there in this vehicle in terms of features, in terms of dimensions and what does it look like so first of all starting with the design you can see the front is very similar to the c3 aircross and that is to be expected because they are basically siblings so you have these split led drls and there is the led projector headlight you have this grill now in the c3 aircross you have a lot more chrome here it's a lot more blacked out now moving to the side of the vehicle you will see these 16 inch alloy wheels and you can see the alloy design as well and crucially if you look at it in profile you will notice the coupe roof which it has because this is a coupe suv so you have that sloping roof line and then there is also a little design element right over here that you can see now moving further back you have a familiar looking tail lamp design now, and here you have a little bit of a spoiler and then you have the Citroen logo and the Basalt logo and then lower down you have this bumper which is uh, a bit angular. In terms of ground clearance this has a 180mm ground clearance while the length is 4352mm and the wheelbase is 2651 mm now that is all about the exterior oh well i missed one more point there are five monotone and two dual tone color options right here you can see the black roof and the white color option now let's get inside the vehicle and let me show you what the inside is like so opening the door you can see the dashboard well it is again very similar to what you see on the c3 aircross but there are certain changes in here which are now also uh, visible in the updated c3 aircross so first of all let me show you the seats this is what the seats look like but talking about the changes well you can see that you have uh, buttons for all four windows in the doors then you have electronically foldable orvms so when I do this, you can see the mirrors folding and then opening again. And then over on the inside, there you can see the 7 inch digital instrument cluster. You have the 10.25 inch uh, touchscreen infotainment system which supports wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Then you have your AC vents and the new thing here is that it gets automatic climate control. So earlier it used to have just a manual ac control but now you have automatic functionality on top of this you also have a wireless charging pad now so that is there and then there are these cup holders and this is the automatic version so that's why you have the automatic shifter i'll talk about the engine and gearbox options a little while later and then you have this adjustable armrest which is a little bigger than before and then you can also open it up to reveal some storage area so that is also new and this is what the rest of the dashboard kind of looks like now let's get to the back of the vehicle and let me show you what is there and this is the second row of the basalt because of the coupe roof you have a sloping roof and that is how much headroom you have there is a center armrest which i can open up to show you that there are cup holders and a sort of mobile holder over there and then you have ac vents and two usb charging ports but the most interesting thing is right here now citroen has added a feature which basically allows you to change the angle of the seat squab so if i pull it now you can see it is like this it's flat there is three step adjustment so that's first that's second and then finally third so you can see there is a good amount of adjustment over there and if i pull it again like this it goes back to normal so once again one two 
and 3 so that is the quirky new feature that you get in here now the windows controls are on the door panels and not on the floor console that has also changed and finally let's talk about the boot space as well with the basalt you get 470 liters of storage space and right now we have a few of our bags and some rain gear because it's raining in goa and you can see the amount of space that is there for storing luggage now let's close this and talk about the engine options there are a total of two engines and three gearboxes that you can pick from with the basalt and those are the 1.2 liter naturally aspirated engine which is also seen in the c3 it is in the same state of tune it produces about 80 odd horsepower and about 115 newton meters of torque the other engine option is this the 1.2 liter turbocharged petrol engine this is the same one that you see in the c3 aircross as well and since we have it with the six speed automatic gearbox it produces 108 horsepower and 205 newton meters if you get the same engine with the manual gearbox the torque output reduces to 190 and uh, the naturally aspirated engine well that only comes with a five speed manual gearbox so that is what you get in terms of engine and gearbox configurations and this was a quick look at the citroen basalt itself you let us know what you think of this vehicle and ask us any questions you have in the comment section down below we will try to answer them in our main review and we'll be looking forward to your comments if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and like i said before the full review will be out on 9th of august so make sure that you are subscribed to our channel and you have pressed the bell icon so that you're notified when we bring out the review of this vehicle and many more videos on our channel until the next time this is akash paul signing off bye bye